Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Ferrosal. Welcome to the video. We're going to be going over Titan movement. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more educational than other type of videos that I've made. So if you definitely want to see more like this, you know, maybe a Hunter one and a Warlock one, show your support with a like. But here's what you can expect from this video. We're going to be going over the shoulder charge melees, uh, the barricades, Titan jump, and just other things that can help you out with Titan movement. And it doesn't only apply to Titan as well. It could be for some other classes. But anyways, let's get into it. To start things off, let's talk about tie-in jump movements. I'm going to suggest that you use a strafe lift because this one gives you better control compared to the other two options. High lift being one of them is a jump that lets you get into the air really, really high, but you cannot take advantage of that because of the PvP map design. The jump is slow. It doesn't let you get into the air any quicker than strafe lift, nor does it let you get you know, forward any quicker. This is important because you want to be unpredictable in engagements. Hunters, for example, can quickly change their positioning in vertical movements, and that's where we're going for with Titan. Catapult, on the other hand, is an okay jump ability, but since Destiny 1, I was never a fan of it, even after it received a buff sometime in Destiny 2. The jump sets out to try and help you move forward quickly, but I personally feel like Strafe Lift can help you do the same thing. Majority of the people using this ability is to Titan Skate on PC with either a scroll wheel or a micro, and you know, I don't do that, so let's stick with what we're gonna do here. I'm going to share two combos with you. I want you to practice and master them when you're playing PvP, whether it is calling for power ammo, capturing a flag, or changing positioning around the map. Uh, the first combo is meant to cover big spaces of ground. So you're going to want to jump once, jump a second time, you're going to be flying through the air, and once you're at the destination you want to be at, you can cancel that with another jump. This next combo is going to be quicker, but similar. This one is meant to give you that fast burst and just not get caught in the air. You're going to want to jump and then jump two times immediately after that. So it's still a total of three. Anyways, you can use these jumps to close the gap between you and an enemy player. You can use it to fly towards them with a melee, a shotgun, even you can hit fire with a primary as you're going towards them. This one's a little bit more intense and more intermediate to try and pull off. But basically what I do is as I'm gliding towards an enemy, I shoot, then I press X again to jump and then I shoot again and I repeat the same process. It's a pretty difficult thing to execute, but you know, with practice, you can get it down. Use your jump to all play players in the air. You can, you know, usually jump really, really high over someone's head if they rush you. That kind of play is not as predictable as being on the ground, especially in this meta where players tend to slide forward with a shotgun. So if you have a player coming at you, you can jump in the air, and then by the time they notice you're up in the air, it's too late because you shotgun them. Another thing I find really important to mention is that whenever you pop your barricade, make sure you use that third person to look around to gather some information. You can look to your left, behind you, and to your right side. You might have someone flanking, or you could also just look around and see, okay, this is the next location I want to run towards you for cover or just to rotate. Uh, let's talk about sliding next. Sliding plays a pretty big role when it comes to movement. You can do it with any character and the most obvious one is sliding towards an enemy to close the gap to either melee them or shotgun them, but there's also a way to increase the gap between you and the enemy player. Now this one's a little bit, little bit more difficult to execute on the controller, but on PC it's uh, a little bit easier obviously. It's all about fast movement and you need that high sensitivity to pull it off effectively. So for me personally, I will be running forward and I will turn back, slide at the same time. And once I do those two things, I'm going to turn back towards a normal location that I was looking at. So it gives you the illusion that I'm basically sliding backwards because of how fast I do it. But in reality, it's just a couple little things that I'm doing really, really fast. And that helps because you increase the gap towards you and enemy player. And, you know, other than that, it's helping you just be ready to engage whoever is about to slide shotgun you or something like that. Now the final thing I'm going to cover here is the melee abilities that a lot of these subclasses come with like shoulder charge and ballistic slam. Majority of players would quickly take the opportunity to use their melee ability for a free kill when in reality you don't need to use your shoulder charge you know when you could be getting an assist for the same point right but anyways the shoulder charge helps you close gas, you know, while moving around the map, but my favorite thing about it is being able to use it to bait players around corners with this ability. The way that I execute this uh, movement is to jump around the corner once, and then I turn around instantly back where I was coming from, and I shoulder charge, creating that gap 
uh, between me and the enemy player and they usually just kind of get baited with a shotgun they'll shoot or they just completely you know lose where you're going and at that point you know you take the opportunity to make your play with a melee or a shotgun of your own this play has allowed me to outplay so many people in comp, rumble, or quick play because, it, like I said, it just baits them and it is so unpredictable. So definitely practice that. It can be really helpful, give you some clutch 1v1 engagement wins. But anyways, the next thing I want to mention is maybe not as helpful, but it's definitely a nice little trick to know. And that is shoulder charging after you shoot you know, a bullet from your weapons. Now, if you slide towards an enemy, you can shotgun right and then immediately you can melee to create your shoulder charge which can help you clean up an opponent if your shotgun doesn't one shot or sometimes they can even give you a two piece which is super dope because let's say there's two guys next to each other you slide towards one of them you shotgun one you shoulder charge next and that thing's gonna lock on to the other player giving you that two piece this also helps with supers, you know, sometimes, sometimes, because supers are really hard to kill. You can create a play where you'll slide towards a super, you shotgun them, and then that shoulder charge could clean them up. But it's really difficult to pull off because of how supers are right now. But uh, anyways, that's pretty much it when it comes to shoulder charging. Uh, I will cover the Ballistic Slam next. Now, Ballistic Slam is one of my new favorite melees they added with Forsaken. There's a couple different plays you can do. One being, if you're jumping in the air and you get caught off guard, you can instantly just shoulder charge or Ballistic Slam into the ground or to your left and right side for cover. So it just depends on timing and your decision making on whether or not you want to use the melee. Obviously, you can go straight at their face and just follow up with a punch or a shotgun because that can be really, really unpredictable as well. I have some high consistency and success with that play. Also, another one is canceling your ballistic slam with your super. So you can see that I'll ballistic slam from the air in, you know, forward, and then I'll cancel that melee with my super, allowing me to basically get farther distances with my super. And it kind of makes it seem like I can basically go a little bit faster. But the main point of this is obviously it looks a little bit flashy, but it does help a lot because. For one, it helps you cover more ground, and two, it's a lot, a lot more unpredictable uh, for the enemy to expect what you're doing because if you hear a super and you see a thunder crash in the kill feed instantly, their reaction is to run away and rotate and create a gap between you and them. And at that point, your smash just starts to slow down and you curb down and you won't be able to connect. Now, the reason why Ballistic Slam helps with that is because you'll just go from the air but let's slam towards their direction and they won't really be scared because they don't hear a super or they don't see the icon on the left side of the map but once you're nearby them you pop that striker's match even if they try to run away even if they try to create a small gap it's not enough because the ballistic slam will just be in their face so that's pretty much it when it comes to ballistic slam okay so let's go ahead and hop into some in-game footage here we have this guy let's try to hit him with the with the jukesies see right there boom he was going towards this direction trying to figure out where i was at but i had shoulder charge back you know behind him anyways i got this power i'm gonna worry about three tap this guy get him off the power we're gonna pick this up and just quickly try to waste it so nobody else can try to win the game with it uh there should be a guy on the radar here no they traded now the next one's gonna do the slide forward or the illusion where i slide backwards just like that and now i got cleaned up by a grenade launch from behind so <laughs> thankfully i managed to pull off exactly what i've been trying to do <laughs> the first two times i tried it so we did the shoulder charge one we did the um the one where i kind of slide backwards but not really have a guy right in front of us let's see if we could do another shoulder charge play here we're gonna go ahead and get close and bait him towards a different direction he's looking on the right side we're gonna bait him out just a little bit one shot. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this ammo. So you can see how the shoulder charge is really, you know, kind of confusing people. Oh, nice. I didn't see this guy. Let's see. Anything else that I would like to show? We did the sliding, the shoulder charge. You can just do that infinite times. You know, the good thing about not using your shoulder charge up right away is that you can just keep using it for movement, right? Let's throw a grenade over here. Who is a sniper player? He has more shots. It's probably gonna all gun me. Nope. I connected all my shots. And then you know, every time you shoulder charge, you can also use that as a 
no way to basically peek in third person you know okay we're gonna try something here that guy got baited it just helped me create that distance with the shotgun I'm a little bit weak he's gonna throw that grenade really good play backup uses cover here and we weren't able to hide in the cover Who's gonna win that fight? Ooh, he lost to the Titan. I don't know if they still have power ammo. We're gonna be getting close to our super. We're gonna use our shoulder charge at some point to help us get a little bit of momentum, you know, when pushing somebody. We're gonna kill this guy. Or another one in front of us. There we go, we finished him off too. I have low health. I don't have a barricade. Just yet. I'm gonna take some damage, get that over, and get my health back. Boom, that, that helped me right there. See, that's another play that you can try to learn from. I'm um, pretty weak. I have my barricade. So we're gonna slide forward and, ooh, he has a grenade launcher. So next up, I wanna see if I can showcase how I collect some information while popping my barricade. See if we can get this guy's attention. Just got cleaned up, sorry buddy. Finished him off. Now I'm gonna purposely put myself in a situation where I'm kind of like trapped. Ooh, 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 potato shots just got on. Sorry, buddy. Oh no, he finished me off. See, the barricade can be really inconsistent when you're trying to make plays off of it, so keep that in mind. It's really slow, so if you're already taking damage or you're already weak, don't expect to have high success trying to like, you know, pop that barricade, because I generally don't really have that much high success. Ooh, nice. Good play, good play. He had that kind of like height advantage and slid forward with that shot. It really will pretty easily. Okay, so now I have my shoulder charge along with my sunbreaker. Now, this is kind of a little bit of a flashy move, but there are situations where, you know, teammates are playing, or not teammates, but your enemy's playing really slow, and they're kind of watching the corners really well, not allowing you to really like make a play. You know, by just popping it around the corner and getting in there. Ah, uh, where's this guy going? No, 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 no. Come back. Come back, come back. Oh, you're so weak. Come here. This one chasing me. Ooh, my melee didn't register, but he, he did get cleaned up, so that's okay. Special Blade's not gonna farm anybody. We're down six points. We're not down. I mean, we need six more points. I have a guy here at the gunfight. Easy two tap. Another one. And there's a shotgun play again. So, you know, I know this is more of a Italian movement, but in this play, if you see somebody on your radar, you always gotta kind of predict the shotgun play around corners like that. But since I'm just kind of playing a play and talking at the same time, I'm not really giving myself enough time to, uh, I guess, think about, you know, plays like that I guess this guy's pretty weak no shields he's gonna regain his health I'm gonna bait him Ooh, he's dead we're gonna see if we can bait this guy nope he got cleaned up he is three tap but he's gonna get his health back we're gonna float in air a little bit while we reload so right there a play that I made was you know I floated in the air, stayed away in the shotgun range, so his shotgun wasn't going to map me, unless I was one shot, while I gave myself enough time to reload one extra bullet into my mag, but I purposely reloaded more than one bullet, just to kind of give us, you know, more time to dissect exactly what was going on in that engagement. Alright, we need four more points. So we're going to try to shoulder charge play here. We just baited this guy. Didn't land my shotgun shot, but he was really confused right there. We have another one in front of us. Three tap this guy. I think there's gonna be one behind me. No. We could possibly throw a grenade and get an easy cleanup here. He wants to power him. We're gonna try and bait him. So he pulled out a shotgun. Now I get a free shot on him. He got cleaned up though. We're gonna pop this bigger, get some information. Didn't have enough time. He might be able to get a two-piece there. Nope, he got cleaned up. Okay, so we still need two more points. Notice how I still have not used my shoulder charge ability. For what? You know, just you know, one or two kills per game? It's not really worth it at all. So we have this guy in front of us, one on the left side. Got a shotgun again. Damn. I keep getting uh, caught with my primary out. 
Let's go ahead and try and go towards uh, middle. Get a little bit of map control. I'm looking at my radar right now just in case there's any potential players that can clean up. There's one on my left side. I'm crushing the radar. This guy has a shotgun. See, this time I'm going to make sure I expect a shotgun play. Let's try to make something flashy going on here. See if we can juke this guy. Alright, there it is. That's game. GG. We can go ahead and take a look at the score here. Uh, there, there's a couple other things I could have done, but the main one was really kind of like the shoulder charge thing, the sliding around the map and the, you know, sliding to create a gap between me and the player, not to eat, no, not to close the gap. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.